Hello and welcome to this ET Tutor video, Watch Me Play Matchup. So this is part of the free dictionary series. If you haven't looked at these videos yet, check them out. And uh, let's get started. The purpose of the video is to help you learn some new words and try to understand how they're used in real life, listen to a native speaker pronouncing them and get a little bit more insight than you would do if you just played on your own. So, uh, we've got our words here and we can match them up with these ones. If you haven't watched the video on how to play, it might be a good idea to have a look at that one. So, I'm going to go for gangly first. I like this word, it's a word that I'd often use and I think it's a word that the majority of English speakers feel confident using. It's a word used to describe people, people who are tall and thin. Often people who are a little bit awkward, so if you're a fan of the television programme The Inbetweeners, you might want to think of the character of Neil here. So we can match gangly uh, with the word rangy. So if you have a look over at the definitions, you'll get a bit more insight into that one and into the pronunciation as well. I wouldn't say that word's so frequently used. Right, let's have a look at the next one, cold-blooded. So cold bloodies can be used to refer to certain types of animals, but it's also used to refer to people. Uh, if somebody's cold blooded, it means they're quite a cold, calculated type of person who doesn't show their emotions. So we might think of them as inhuman. So we've got that one there. Right, let's have a look at the next one, substandard. So here we've got a prefix, and it's also always useful to think about the prefixes when you're playing match-up. So if you know what this me word means, standard, it means ordinary, the norm, the way something should be. If it's substandard, it's not going to be like that, it's going to be inferior. So we've got another match there. Right, let's have a look at the next one. We've got sinewy, a lovely sounding word. Again, we're thinking about how the sounds match. So we can see that it matches over here with hefty, but not with abstract. So it's more likely to be this one. Now I know that sinewy means strong and muscular. So we can match that one with hefty, which also has a similar meaning. With this one, think about a rugby player. It'd be a good adjective to describe them. And finally, we get our last two, non-objective and abstract. So we'll find out if they're a match. Okay, great. So we can see we've scored 100%. We've got our colours are all in alignment. And down here, we've got the words with further synonyms and the definitions. If you're not sure on the pronunciation, make sure you just uh, have a listen. So click on an individual word and... Just listen out for it. Non objective. Non objective. There we go. So, I really hope that this has helped. Uh, good luck with your language learning. Thanks, as always, for watching and like and subscribe.